We're here with some awesome people from The Flash, the uh, pilot which screened here at Comic-Con. Guys, welcome. Thank, Thank you for having us. Uh, how's your con been so far? It's exciting. Look, I mean, I can't stop looking at the street. There's so many like people dressed up, and it's just madness, and the fans are loving The Flash, so it's great. It's tremendous. Uh, Candice, uh, what can you tell us about your character? Is she going to... We see it from the first episode, which people will see if they haven't seen it here. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of a will they, won't they with, with Barry, but... Uh, after he flashes out, he comes back and you're not, he, he tries to make it happen with you, but you've kind of moved on a little bit. I know. It could be breaking our hearts all season. It's amazing what nine months in a coma can do, right? So yeah. much can change. I mean, the will they or won't they is just so good for TV. Yeah, it's so right. good for the CW. <laughs> so I think it's good. I think it's good to see them play that out. I don't know. I don't know where it'll go, but, you know, they'll, they'll keep the romance options open, I think, for multiple characters. There'll be some triangles. It's all, it's all good stuff. And then, of course, probably right when things might happen, it's going to get ripped it's apart. Gonna, of, yeah. Course. Yeah, well, of course. Most definitely. Uh, now, Danielle, um, your relationship with Barry is on sort of the other side of it, the hero side of things, but also doesn't get off to that great a start. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? It doesn't. You know, she's a, a very excited to see Barry as a specimen. You know, she's a scientist, so she can't wait to dig inside and see what's really going on with him. And she's a little bit skeptical of his superpowers. She lost her fiancé in the particle accelerator explosion, so she doesn't want to see the same thing That messed a him. lot of things up for a lot of people. I know. Mm -hmm. Not great. Not a good thing, those explosions. <laughs> uh, can you tell us anything about where you know your character's headed going forward with what we know about her from the DC Universe, maybe? Or is that all? Uh, I think what's really cool is you get to see her in Star Labs, and you get to see she and Harrison helping Barry the Flash take on the metahumans and the bad guys every week. So that's what's really awesome for me, taking on a new one awesome. all the time. Awesome. Now, um, this will pass the, pass the mic over here. Oh, you've got your own mic there. Yeah, Don't Tom, yell at Tom. me, Matt. I'm we're just, sorry, we're sorry. I'll take it down. Interview. I'll take it down a Thanks, little bit. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll Bye. take it down. Now, speaking of scientists, we've got the... Uh, the genius here who uh, is maybe is or isn't to blame for the giant explosion dun, dun, dun. <laughs> at Star Labs, but yes. it's his, his company. He can explode it if he wants, right? It's, well, <laughs> he can explode anything he wants. He's a very intelligent man with explosives at his disposal. So. Can you talk a little bit about Harrison Wells and uh, uh, a man with many secrets, too? I just want to say first about Comic-Con. Um, Grant, who plays The Flash, Grant Gustin, um, and I have been holding uh, all comers welcome 100 meter dashes in the parking lot behind the Grand Hyatt where we're staying. Uh -huh. And so far, Comic Con 2014 undefeated. So, okay. my take on the Comic Con people is that really generous and kind and not fast at all. Not fast at all. Well, no. used to, I think the crowds have them used to work walking at like a snail's pace. I think maybe that's what it is. They can't accelerate, yeah, they're not I used know. to it. I know. Yeah. We're taking advantage of that, we're making a lot of money. Uh, but uh, Harrison, um, oh yeah, that question dodge isn't going to work for you. <laughs> no, interesting. No, that's fine. That's, that's uh, interesting. That's deflect, fine. deflect, deflect. But you, you're persistent. Yeah, I don't have a segue uh, bone in my body, so I just get right back. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone, man. That, <laughs> IGN. No, we're too family friendly. But go ahead. Ask, go ahead and ask the next question. But uh, yes, can you talk a little bit about uh, your role and your interest, your character's interest in uh, Barry Allen? Well, you know, Barry has essentially three kind of father figures. His real dad, who's now in prison. His, uh, the father who kind of raised him, Joe West, uh, who plays Candace's, fa uh, Candace's father, played by Jesse Martin. And then myself, once he gets struck by lightning and our big bang happens and he's off and running as a new persona, Harrison sort of takes, takes on that role. You know, what's, but what's interesting for all of our characters is, you know, in many ways, Barry Allen has the flash with a dual kind of persona is possibly the most easily definable character in the show. There's mythology, 80 years worth and plus, and then the rest of us are operating on a whole bunch of different levels, mm. new incarnations and stuff, yeah. and as actors, it's tremendous to be able to do that. Yeah. Awesome. Guys, thank you for You're coming welcome. today. Thank you so for much. For all things Flash, stay tuned to IGN.